Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're shooting a classic Winchester ballistic silver tip, 140 grain out of a 6.5 Creedmoor. And here is the box for that Winchester ballistic silver tip. We'll go ahead and flip it around and take a look. I'll hold that still right there so you can pause and zoom in if you want. It's got your ballistics data, your promo information. The ballistic silver tip bullet has been around for a very long time, so it's cool to see it in a somewhat newer cartridge, the 6.5 Creedmoor. Let's pop this open and see what the ammo looks like. So Winchester ammo typically comes, at least, I mean, all, always comes, I think, in these styrofoam ammo holders kind of old school kind of classic whatever it's neither here nor there for this and here is there I'll move that out so you can focus one of the rounds nickel plated brass um, looks pretty decent in my experience Winchester ammo out of the box can be kind of dingy this stuff looks a little bit better which it should it's it's sort of premium grade and the test rifle today is going to be my Ruger American chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor of course we've got a 22 inch barrel up top I've got a Leopold VX Freedom 3 to 9 by 40 and bringing up the rear of course I've got one of my Mason leather cartridge cuffs this rifle's name is Pig Ugly you can kind of see it behind the cartridges there check out my website masonleather.com to get one for yourself I would love to make you one and I want to show you over here on the other side We've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we're down here at the blocks after shooting that Winchester ballistic silver tip out of the 6.5 Creedmoor, and I captured two bullets. The third bullet did zip out of one of the sides. I have flipped the blocks on their side so we can see the bullets better. We had one go all the way out to 27 inches. That is crazy considering this is supposed to be a fast expanding, just rapid energy dumping bullet, but we got some great penetration at least on that round. Coming back here, we have actually some bullet and core separation. So here is your jacket up here, and you've got the lead core down there. They separated somewhere back here in the first block, and they went to about the same depth, right about 19 and a half inches. And again, the third one is lost in the sauce somewhere. Coming over and looking at the first block, it looks like we had some pretty rapid expansion, a pretty good wound cavity, between about the three inch and eight to nine inch mark. So a good wound cavity in there. And they penetrated quite a bit deeper than I thought they would. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Winchester ballistic silver tip out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. Our high was 26.40, our low was 25.99, and our average velocity was 2,614 feet per second. And here we're looking at the Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip 140 grain bullets recovered from the ballistics gel blocks. First, we'll talk about weight retention. We saw 99 grains and 104 grains for 102 grains of average weight retention. That works out to 73%. Not particularly surprising. The Ballistic Silver Tip is a rapid expanding bullet. It's not bonded. So no surprise there. And then as far as expansion goes, we saw 0.66 inches and 0.62 inches for an average of 0.64 inches of expanded diameter. That works out to 2.4 X expansion. Pretty darn good. That's well above my two X benchmark. And now we'll talk about velocity. The high velocity was 2,640 feet per second. The low, was 2,599 feet per second for an average of 2,614 feet per second versus the factory build velocity of 2,700 feet per second. So we did come in a little bit slower than the factory build 86 feet per second slow to be exact. That's definitely not the worst I've seen. And now we'll talk about penetration. This is where we had a little bit of hijinks go on. 
we saw 19 and a half inches for one bullet and then 27 inches for the other bullet. So penetration was not very consistent and unfortunately I didn't recover the third bullet. Who knows what that may have done. Overall, our average penetration was 23 and a quarter inches. That's just fine. That'll definitely kill a deer for you. All right, y'all, final thoughts on that Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip 140 grain load out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. I was actually pleasantly surprised. I, I thought, I expected this bullet to kind of blow up a little bit. It didn't though. It held together a lot better than I thought it would. Weight retention was okay, 73%. It's a ballistic tip bullet. I don't expect it to hold together very well, but hey, we got almost three quarters of the weight still there at the end of the day. Expansion was really good, which is what you would expect from a load like this, 2.4X expansion. So it's gonna hit hard when it does hit home. And then penetration wise, this is, it's kind of up in the air. We had one round that only went 19 inches, one that went over 20, well, right at 27 inches. I wish I would have recovered the third bullet, but logistically it's really hard to go down back and forth and all that and take a bunch of shots when doing these tests. So it is what it is. I might test this again in the future, but typically you don't see that wide of a range in penetration depth between the different shots of the same load. So I'm not really sure what that means. We'll just have to chalk it up to it is what it is and these are the test results. As far as what I would use this for, based on the results, I think it would work just fine for any of your standard deer hunting, pronghorn, stuff like that. I wouldn't use it on anything very big. It just doesn't have the weight retention and the penetration is questionable. Personally, I want something that holds together a little bit better. It shed a little bit too much weight for me. Also, if you're looking for a 6.5 Creedmoor load to hunt maybe predators with, coyotes, stuff like that, this may be an option. If you've used this ammo on anything in 6.5 Creedmoor, the 140 grain Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip, let me know the results in the comments. Let everybody know the results. That way we can aggregate as much knowledge as we can so we can all make the best decision on our hunting ammo. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.